Good evening, this is Giuseppe Basile, I'm the analyst and trader, you can find the blog Fibonacci Stalking.com, I also post regularly on Twitter using the Adfib Stalker name. Good evening, this, um, today is uh, Sunday, March the 17, 2013, and it's 7, uh, 15 past 7 p.m. Italian time. Uh, in this video, which is part of my series Fib Stalker View on Futures uh, and part of my newsletter I'm going to send out later on today. Uh, I'm going to review uh, three A uh, futures. The first one, it's what you see on the screen, is the dollar index future tree on the uh, ICUS exchange. And the second would be very quickly the Euro dollar FX currency futures contract. Uh, but you can review my long term and weekly uh, review and forecast for this future as well and the third one would be the sp500 d mini uh, futures uh, traded on the uh, cme so let's start from the um, daily chart of the dollar index which is on the screen is the continuous contract aligned to the mm, june 2013 expiration and before i get into more detail in the in the in price dynamics of the last um, of the last uh, two days a uh, few days uh, i would uh, like to um, to show you this level of support that i have here uh, the 84 uh, level this is coming from a retrace from uh, highs in um, uh, from highs in uh, uh, 2010 here two lows that we had in uh, april 2011 and uh, this level of support, uh, sorry, this level of resistance actually, as you can see, was respected in uh, mid of uh, 2012, especially July when we had the reversal on the euro as well. And uh, so this is a very important level of, uh, of resistance. And um, it was tested, as we said last year, and after that, we had uh, we had this measure move lower which was uh, somehow respected the 80 uh, 81 80 level of uh, resistance but on the other side we had support in this uh, around the 79 40 level and um now this level has been broken as we can see here and price uh, went higher since uh, the beginning of february but this level this important 84 level was not tested so that's the reason why I believe it's possible that uh, the this move higher in the, the dollar has not ended uh, just yet, and maybe we have to see the the, the test of the 84 level. So uh, going um, going back to uh, what happened in the in the last. Um, in the last few days uh, you um, those who follow me know that we have been following the sequence of measure move higher there were extensions and uh, at some point extension didn't hold um, uh, anymore showing the, the fact that uh, the um, showing the fact that the uh, this uh, this uh, future contract uh, um, um, uh, started uh, slowing down and started moving in uh, in traditional uh, moves as well and that's very unusual when uh, we have a switch uh, from a tradition from extensions back to traditional it means that the um, uh, the instrument is very close to uh, um, to um, is very close to a reversal so we had this 82 30 area which we target in 83 uh, in the 83 area then again we had the next uh, the next measure move was from these lows to uh, highs and we had support in the 80 to 70 and uh, which uh, which broke price into the 83 30 11 and then uh, we had the reversal there and those who follow me know that uh, last year i uh, sorry last uh, week i said uh, if we move below 82 level 82 80 level here then uh, we continue lower now since we did, we haven't tested this 84 level that i showed you before uh, it's possible that um, it's possible that um, we uh, are going uh, we are we're still uh, we still have one leg higher to go and this will bring price of the euro into that uh, 128 level so a retest of the of the highs um of course we we cannot bet on this we we, we don't know uh, adjusting that this is this is possible and uh, the participation some participation downside will only come uh, from higher levels close to 84. moving to the euro mm, i will be very brief here because you can review the weekly uh, review uh, and 
we had uh, the sequence of measure move lower uh, 3070 was the last level of resistance and then we had this um, we had this um, uh, level uh, that was uh, pierced on the upside uh, 13020 it's a level I've been uh, monitoring last uh, week if you follow me you knew that uh, and um, I want to uh, let you know that I also post on Forest Factory so uh, when you don't find anything on my blog you can always uh, move on Forest Factory and, and see whether I had uh, posted something uh, as um, using the FIB stalker nickname and as we can see although um, this level this uh, 61 level 13020 was uh, placed on the upside uh, it's still possible that we get to the target in 12880 uh, so there are two possibilities here we either uh, trade to um, that 128.80 but um, we could also um, we could also actually retrace um, into a higher level here so the higher level would be would be um, the 128 uh, 129.80 area here and then uh, bounce high so I think it's very important to um, monitor the, um, the price of the euro next uh, week. And finally, moving to GSP500, those who follow me know that uh, we have been uh, following the uh, uh, development and price dynamics and we had this one 1480 area of support which uh, worked well because price never came below 1473 and the first target one 1545 so uh, there were mm, there were 60 uh, five, um, 65 points to be taken here was it at the beginning of uh, at, the, at the end of last week and um, within this move higher we had another uh, inner move and that would be um, sorry that would be uh, the um, move from lows to these um, highs and um, and this broke price into 1530 uh, 1, area and then 1550 uh, area and uh, we didn't uh, we didn't move higher here so we didn't uh, uh, sorry we didn't uh, we didn't retrace before moving higher here so uh, if we get a retracement I think uh, an important level we there are two important levels we have to keep in mind the first one would be the highs to highs and um, the second one would be this uh, high on the inner uh, on the inner um, move here highs to highs again so if we get a retracement this is going to be it's not very clear here um, but it's going to be uh, between uh, 1438 and 1442 and this is it for uh, for this video this was the um, fib socket view on futures i typically um, post these um, charts and uh, videos analysis and forecast with five uh, seven to fifteen days delay if you want to receive these videos uh, just subscribe my newsletter on the fibonacci uh, blog uh, thank you very much for your attention i wish you a very good uh, trading week next week and um, uh, i look forward to you on my blog as well bye bye thanks